Min says, hi, all. I have a question about Azure. Can external users, a guest user, log in to the Azure portal? I mean, I'm assuming like your, my Azure portal. How can we enable guest users to log into Azure portal or is it not possible? Thanks a lot. Was that for me? I'm sorry. I fell asleep. We were answering some uh, yeah. SharePoint questions. <laughs> <laughs> I did add your name to this, but uh, uh, so sorry. yeah, Mike. Just dozed, to off. Just dozed off a little bit. Um, yes, absolutely. There's this thing called Lighthouse, um, and it actually allows, uh, from a management perspective, because I'm assuming if you want to give somebody access to your Azure portal, um, you want to do it from an administrative or a management perspective why you would give the average user access to your portal i do not know um, but you can do that as well um, because you can give them access to the portal as you know depending on what role you assign um, and they will have limited visibility depending on what their role is in uh, antra or azure ad um, as you know the new antra um, so if you're looking at it from a management point of view um, or, you know, you want to manage it for multiple groups um, or something like that, I would take a look at Lighthouse. Um, but also, you know, if you want to, you could do it directly from from Entra as well. The, the one other scenario, uh, you know, again, a question for men on, on this is that, you know, like, what, what are you trying to do? What are you trying yeah. to accomplish? Yeah. Like I, I just did this was, you know, with another hoster was doing a migration, needed yep. to give them access. And so there's actually a. Well, they have an avenue then. If they're if they're an actual MSP, then they have an avenue to get to to you add them into your account and they have an avenue to do that. If they're an actual Microsoft, you know, MSP. Um, right. That, that's going through the lighthouse and scenario. So that, that's another scenario. And I was going to say like, and what I did, which was. See, there's actually a button on there for for my database, which you could uh, generate the uh, the permissions, the access to like for, I shared FTP access. But, yeah, but that's not that's not true for all of Azure. So it depends right. on it's, what they want. Access that's why I said to. depending on yeah. what you're trying to do, there mm -hmm. are different ways of of providing that level of access. Yeah, and I I would go so far as to say that do they actually need access to the portal? Um, because I, I would want to know what they're doing. They, you could give them a shell. You can give them a cloud shell. You can give them, you know, something else that has, you know, you have more control over. Um, you know, you even have the Azure desktop app. Uh, you know, do you actually want them inside of, of that? So those are, you know, we need more information um, uh, depending on what they what their intention is and what they want to do. Yeah, I'd, abs I'd absolutely build on Mike's, on Mike's comments there. Um, Azure, I think, as a as a portal and as a platform, is probably the most mature Microsoft product that has role based access oh, control. I'd agree with that. Yep. And that's and, Entra. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's Entra and on and access to all of the all of the functionality. That so to Mike's point, right? What what are they trying to do? What are they trying to manage? If if you're going to give someone access to your portal, it's there's obviously an intent behind that reason, mm -hmm. right? So what are they trying to achieve? And typically with 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 Entra, role-based access control is the right way to do it. Um, and then you can build on top of that and even include things like, you know, <clears throat> um, you, you, you can include time-based access, just-in-time access. There's a whole bunch of things you can do. But I think it's fundamental for this particular question, what is the objective? What is the intent? for the user that they're trying to grant access to the portal. Yeah, and there is a- I, I, As a Microsoft employee, I can go to our Microsoft portal, but there's a million things I cannot do. Right, right. Just and because one, I don't have the right role. One other right. option I, I need to point out though is also something they call B2B and B2C. So yeah. there are options there as well. So if it is a business partner that you're talking about um, that you want to give access you know, to certain aspects of your of your Azure infrastructure, um, they have inside of Entra, they have B2B and B2C options, mm -hmm. which you should really consider.